Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? So girl, today we are going to be pre-pooing with just coconut oil. Now I purchased this coconut oil, girl I was at Ross looking for some stuff that I possibly didn't need. And this is, <laughs> this is refined organic coconut oil. Um, it's a big, pretty size store. Um, smells really good too. So you guys, like most of you, I have had mixed feelings when it comes to coconut oil. And for me personally, what it boils down to is that I cannot or I prefer not to use coconut oil as a leave-in oil. Now I do use an oil mixture um, every other day and there's quite a bit of different oils in there. Um, for a while there, I was in a fenugreek oil kick I don't use that as much now as a leave-in, but I do use it as a treatment. Uh, hot, hot oil rinses and stuff like that. My hair doesn't respond as well using it as a leave-in. So it's been a while since I've used it to pre-poo my hair. And again, when I would pre-poo or do like a DIY pre-poo recipe, if I use coconut oil, it wouldn't be by itself. It would be with several other ingredients, but I saw a couple of videos, you know, I don't know about y'all, but when I, it's time for me to wash my hair, I started to go to YouTube and, you know, I'm telling myself that, oh, there's some video out there that's gonna miraculously give me, give me some advice on how to detangle my hair in like 30 minutes or something. Girl, please, no, nah, it's not happening. So. <laughs> So since it is cooler right now, um, and I believe it's it's cooler in, in a lot of states here in the US, it's in a solid form. However, this is what it looks like. However, when I rub it together, it will start to melt due to the heat from my hands. Now, when I would use coconut oil as a pre-poo, which again, I haven't used coconut oil solely by itself. Honestly, I haven't even used coconut oil in a treatment in a very long time. I can't even tell you the last time, but as by itself, it's been years, years. So um, what was I saying? I'm, I do apologize to you guys. Coconut oil, when I did use it in a pre-poo, I like to whip it. Um, and when you whip it, it fluffs up. And again, depending on the atmosphere and stuff going on, where, where the area that you live in, the weather, you may get a different um, reaction, but typically if you whip it up, it'll get fluffy and it almost looks like, look like whipped cream with fluffed air in it. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is section off my hair. My, my hair is old. This is a month old and my hair just expands and gets bigger and bigger and I haven't been maintaining it because um, I've been lazy and yeah, I just haven't been maintaining my hair lately, meaning, this style, if you want to call this a style. Um, so all I'm going to do is just section my hair off to make it easier. I have a spray bottle here with some warm water and we have some hair clips. I'm excited y'all and I'm nervous. Um, let's see, this is what the back is looking like. You see that girl? Can y'all see that? Yeah, we're gonna get it together. All right, let's just do this section right here, girl. Now, I've been using the African Pride pre-poo. And um, I know a lot of people do not pre-poo their hair. You know, you may feel like it's an unnecessary extra step. But I find for me personally, and pre-pooing again, is just a pre-treatment before the shampoo process. Uh, it basically helps with uh, preparing your hair for the shampooing process. For me, I like to detangle while I'm pre-pooing and it does make my overall wash day go quicker. So my hair has been sectioned off. This is a fairly large section, but we're gonna we're gonna work with this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mist my hair. Girl, mist my hair with warm water. I'm gonna smooth that through. See how my hair is 
yeah, I need to really take my time. Now my ends are very dry. I can feel it. They are very, very dry. Now I do have a wooden comb here. Um, I probably won't use that. Let me zoom in y'all. In the midst of that, I went ahead and did like a couple of sections in the back. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a okay, let's not complain. I'm a little disappointed though. Uh, my, my hopes and dreams. Again, misting with water. Let's put this section away. Um, and while we're at it, we're gonna take, take down a little section in the back and see what it looks like. Now I remember why I didn't, didn't use coconut oil by itself now, you know. So anyway, y'all, taking some coconut oil I'm going to rub it together in the palms of my hands to allow it to slightly melt some. And yeah, it's it's looking like an oil, okay? Gonna run it through my hair. Um I don't like the way my hair feels with, yeah. Um, so let's just finish this section up, put it up, and let's just take down um, a section that I did about five minutes ago. Now that the coconut oil has had a chance to sit in it a bit. Okay, let me take this section down. Now this, this better, this better raise my credit score or something. So let's see. My hair feels heavy with this in it. It feels heavy. It feels, I don't know, gummy. Is that possible? We're going to cease and desist. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. Um, and again, it's, it's been a while, like I said, a couple of years that I've solely used only coconut oil in my hair. Typically, I do use it with other ingredients or other products. So yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, everybody's hair is different, y'all. And it's really funny, like I can use coconut oil on my son's hair, on JB's hair, and by itself, and his hair thrives. But my hair, no. We're gonna stop, yeah. That's it for me for trying to free poo. I tried. I tried to give it a, you know, give it a go, but it's not working for me and I'm not going to continue to put it on my hair if it's not working. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.